praise the Lord. Because when Adam sinned, he took blood. He took blood. Because he tried to cover himself in the dreams. Praise the Lord. They tried to cover himself in their own righteousness. They tried to cover themselves in their own self. But they needed something to love Jesus. So the Bible says that God closed them with animals. I can kill the animal. Some of us have to be shared. And now we see Jesus. Who came to share in his blood? Yes. Amen. Not just for one man's sin, but for the entire world. Amen. His blood was shed for the whole world. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. So we can say, Man God. Man God. Amen. Amen. We will not be here today. We will not be here today if it wasn't for the blood. The blood that reaches to the highest mountain yes. and flows to the lowest mountain. Amen. From King's Palace to Pampas Mountain. Amen. The blood reaches. Amen. Jesus. And it never loses. Praise. Praise, Praise God. Praise God. So thank God for the blood. So I uh, will seek in the Lord to give me something to say to you. And the Lord led me to first Samuel. First Samuel chapter 1. God bless you. I like this to read. First Samuel chapter 1. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. In verse 9. Now, this is a story that tells us about the coming Samuel. Story of Samuel the birth of Samuel. And it tells us about Elkanah, a man from the tribe of um, Ephraim. So this man had two wives. One of his wives had two sons. And um, one of his wife was barren. And so she was felt outcast and felt a bit unblessed. If I can put it that way. And one of the wives was Benana and the other one was Hannah. So Hannah had no child. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then I had two boys, mm -hmm. two very unruly boys, mm -hmm. we find out in the end. But they sort of mocked Hannah. So let's read from verse 9. First Samuel 1, verse 9. I'm going to go verse 18. So Anna rose after. They had eaten in shadow. And after they had drunk, and the the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of the Lord, and she was in bitterness of her soul, and prayed unto the Lord, and wept. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look upon my affliction of thine handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto, give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass as she continued praying there before the Lord that Eli marked her word. And Hannah, she spake 
in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto him, unto her, How long will I be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Come not thy handmaid as the daughter of the hour, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. And Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did not eat, and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Praise the Lord. But then she started to mock Hannah. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not nice when people mm -hmm. are mocking you. Mm -hmm. Like you're not, no. you're not important and God, mm -hmm. God don't care about you and mm -hmm. all of the things there, you know, and they start to... She felt a way, she felt a need. She felt there was something missing. She felt out, like outcast, she felt outside. Yeah. Yes. And because of that, she wanted something. She she wanted something to comfort her. You know, she wanted something to, 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 to make her at ease, to make her feel normal and not be as a cast outsider. Mm -hmm. So the thought I have when I get this message is that God wants what you want. God wants what you want. Mm -hmm. So she prayed. She was in the temple. Eli was a priest, and she was there in the temple. And from her heart, she cried out to the Lord in desperation. She wanted to make a connection to God. You know, every time you feel a way that you. You can't help yourself, and you know that there's only one person can help you. Mm -hmm. This is how Hannah felt. He felt that it's only God can help. No man, it doesn't matter who you talk to. 
No money can help but God. So she at the altar. She's there calling up her God in desperation. She made a promise to God. Now a promise is like a covenant, an agreement. She made an agreement with God. She said, if thou would look upon thine handmaid and give thine handmaid a man child. She was so pacific in what she wanted. She didn't just say a child. She said, a man child. If you give me a man child, she made a covenant with God. If you give me a man child, then I will give him back to you. All the days of his life. I would think that please God. I would think that would please God. She wanted something, but God wanted something out of what she wanted. God wanted a prophet. God wanted a prophet to lead his people, to guide his people. So she asked for a man child. And God was pleased. And when Eli saw her at the altar, he thought this woman must be drunk. What is she doing at the altar? Mumbling, mumbling, mumbling. Why is she mumbling? So he said, put away the wine from me. Put it away. He said, I'm not drunk. I am not drunk. You know, when somebody would be, it's funny how people, when people start to reach up to God, people believe that they're drunk. Yes. Remember Pentecost? Yes. And when the problem come down? Yes. They said, these men are not drunk. Yes. Yes. They said, these, we are not drunk and it's too early in the morning to drink. Yes. But this is that. Yes. As he spoke of the perfect joy. So sometimes when we reach and then reach down to God, people think we're drunk. We've been drinking wine. But it's not so. It's a connection. It's a connection we want to connect. So Elias said to him, Elias said to her, You're drunken. I said, No. I'm not drunken. But I'll cry out, My soul, I'm reaching out. I have a need. Yes. I have a need. Yes. So I'm reaching out. And you know, it's not all the time we need to make me cry and shout out. Because God hears even the faintest cry. Yes. No matter how faint it is, yes. God hears yes. the faintest cry. You know why? Because God reads from the heart of yes. Not from the mouth, from the heart of So we don't have to make a big noise. Blind Bartimaeus. Is in situation. Yeah. He cried out, Jesus, the yeah. son of David, have yeah. mercy upon him. Yeah. Yeah. What is the name? Hannah. She said, You know, sometimes we can not all the time we can cry about it. Sometimes we have to just whisper to God. Yeah. 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 And God heard her. God wanted what she wanted. Yeah. Me, it won't matter what situation we find ourselves in. If, if, if we're not well and we are feeling broken and we have this problem and that problem and all sorts of metaphysical problems, yeah. you want to get well? God wants you to get well. Yeah. Yes, God wants what you want. Yeah. When he met the woman at the well of Samaria, he knew what she wanted, but he wanted to give her what she wanted. Because in giving her what she wants, she could go out and evangelize and bring in people. Because when she realized, she went in back into the village. And she said, come see a man. Yes. She yes. started to evangelize yes. him. Yes. God wants what we want, brethren. God wants what we want. Yes. That is why we should pray. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Yes. God wants what we want. You know, the Bible says that in the last days, he will pour his spirit upon the house. Pour it. You see, 
God has an abundance of everything. Amen. If you want to be healthy, he must have abundance of health for you. Amen. If you need financial support, he has abundance Amen. of financial support. Whatever you need, God has abundance of everything. He said to the woman of the world, Samaria, the water, <laughs> the water that you pull it from the well, you will want, you will thirst again. Yes. But the water that I will give you yes. shall be the well of water springing up yes. into everlasting life. Where yes. you can have plenty of everything. Amen. Amen. God has plenty of everything. Amen. And so we see the woman said to God, give me a man child and I will give him back to you. Just to remove the reproach. So Penanda can't say, oh, God. the Bible says that God shut up our womb. Yeah. You know, and that means people looking at you say, look at this woman. She can't have a child. Oh, God, God, remember, God, whatever. Yeah. God shut up our womb. But when she realized God, mm. she said, I will make an agreement with God. Mm. And God honors his agreement. Amen. If you give me a man child, yes. I will give him back to you. Yes. Amen. God wanted a man to lead his people. God wanted someone to direct his people. Yes. And so, Eli said, go that way. That petition is granted. Eli was hearing from God. Yes. You know, sometimes we hear from God and sometimes we, 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 we communication comes. Communication comes. Now I hear from God anymore. You know, something, we have to know the voice of God. Amen. Hannah did not know the voice of God, but Eli, the priest, knew the voice of God. And when she made it, when she made the covenant with God, God spoke to Eli. Tell her, her petition is granted. Her petition is granted. God wants what we want. Pray without ceasing. Anything we want. Ask God. Yes. Because God, the Bible says, I will that you need help. Mm -hmm. And you will prosper mm -hmm. as your soul prosper. Mm -hmm. God don't want his people to be unhealthy. No. God don't want his people to be weak. No. God want his people, God don't want his people in poverty. Let the weak say, I am, I am strong. Know. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done. So, we see Samuel coming on the scene. And how God used Samuel. Because when Samuel was getting a bit older, um, the people wanted their own king. They said that... Um, the sons of Samuel was not even so well. So said, we want our own king. All the other countries, nation of their king. It's not good to look at what other people have. No, 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 so no, no, we look at what other people have. No, no. And that thing will not have in the good for you. Right. So true. You look worldly, worldly. You know, sometimes when you look at people who are wealthy, you know, I look at this guy, he's giving me a couple if I have one car, we cost 400 million, and the one cost 50 million. Oh, my God. If I have both, we cost 600 million and hundreds of million, and we are still. We have plenty. But you know where it is now? Pardon? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. No. Wealth, 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 wealth is not the thing. It's not the thing. The thing is Jesus. Amen. My dear mother, you are singing, I have everything. Yes. With Jesus, yes. I have everything. With Jesus, yes. brethren, with Jesus, yes. we have everything. Yes. Everything. Yes. I find that out. Yes. Jesus is my reason for living. Yes. He is my soul. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Every minute of the day. Yes. Every minute of the day. 
Jesus. Just give it Jesus. That's all. Just give it Jesus. What's everything else? Just give it Jesus. That's all we need. And so God wanted to bless her because God wanted a king. And God wanted to use Samuel to anoint that king. And that king was Saul, who was the first king of Israel. Israel. Yes. But Saul came on the scenes because the people cried out for a king. We want our own king. And God says to Samuel, the people have not rejected you, they have rejected me. But sometimes we ask for things that are good for us. Sometimes we ask for things that give us problems. Sometimes that's everything we ask for is good for us. But if you call upon God, God will give you. But it might not be beneficial. And so we see that Saul was given the king, was anointed king by Samuel. Samuel grew up with Eli, the priest. Hannah gave him, gave Samuel to Eli, give Samuel to Eli. He was brought up in the house of God. And he, he obeyed everything. And his God was pleased with him. Yes. Because God blessed him. Yes. God blessed him because it's a special child. Yes. If God gives you something, it's a something good. Yes. And he blessed him. And God was able to use him to anoint Saul king. And when Saul disobeyed God, you know what the time Saul was prophesying? Saul was under the anointing. And he was prophesying. He was in the presence of God. We have to be so careful when it comes to God. You know, because sometimes we feel so we're standing and we're not standing. You know, we we're not standing. We look like we're standing, but we are not standing. Amen. Even Eli, Eli's sons were so, but they, they were having parties and having, enjoying themselves and things. And God sent someone to speak to Eli and said, Listen, your sons are not behaving themselves. They're not behaving themselves. And in that, before he like corrected us on them, he said that the Lord knew what the Lord knew. You see, he reached a stage where he felt that he might write whatever. He wasn't humble anymore. No. Because he was humble, he was dropping something there. I said, listen, man, you can't do them. You can't follow them. He said, no, man. But he said, he don't do nothing. You see, that, that's the issue. So, because of that, we see what happened to you. Yes. Yes. The Bible says he was working in his year. Yes. And he fell back from his yes. Yes. You see, we have to be careful with God. We have to be careful with God. We have to have that sense of humility. Yes. We can't let it go away from us. And then we feel that we are alive. Yes. You know, that we feel like for years and years now we serve in God and, you know, we are God a friend and we can do what we want. God don't, God not do nothing because we are God a friend. Yes, yes no, God is God. And God not change his ways. No, 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 no. And he's not a respectable person. No. But one thing for sure, he promised to supply our need. Yeah. And he's promised to be there for us. Yeah. If trouble comes, if trouble come, yeah. we can call him. Yeah. Anytime, midnight, yeah. anytime, call upon him. He is our refuge and our strength yeah. and our present yeah. help yeah. in time of trouble. Brethren, let us when we pray, let, whenever we pray for anything that we need, anything we pray for we need, let us believe and know that God wants what we want. Yes. If we know and understand that God wants what we want, it is so much easier. Yes. It's so much easier to pray. Yes. Because before you pray, what's as you pray? God is answer. And then we have no doubt. We don't have any doubt. Because we know He hears. We know he answers, and this is a typical example that God wants what we God can get something out of what we're asking for. Yeah. Because if we are not even well, so we have back problem, foot problem, head problem, other problem, and we're not functioning good. God can't use it. 
God can't use me. If we don't want, I can't move and things like that. God can't use me. He said, Lord, heal my body. Amen. He said, God, heal my body. Yes. I, I am weak. I'll, I'll heal my body. God will heal your body because he wants to use you. Amen. Amen. It's not beneficial. God wants to bless us. And we can go through so many things. But God has shown us that God wants what He wants. God wants us to live. God wants us to believe. God wants us to trust. God wants to call upon Him. Call upon Him anytime. Jesus. Don't be free. Because Jesus. when we reach a situation that we can't hold above our control, there's only one person we can call upon. And the blood of Jesus. And the price he paid. Amen. He gave us power. He said he gave us the spirit of God. We only think about the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it is a gift. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is a gift. If he's given it to you, he has plenty to give. He does something you need to fight for. He give it to you. So I remember some time ago in Jamaica. And I, I had a pear tree in my backyard. And a pear tree when they grow. Thousands and thousands of pears we were cutting up. I'm the Papa Carly. I want to see them. And every day, every day we look at the tree, 20 drop out of the tree, and we say, My God. Women would do it. I was hoping that someone would come by and say, You bought some of my car. They don't drop out of the tree. So is God. I'm saying, so is God. God has plenty of everything. Yes. More than we can ask yes. for. Yes. That's why he said we'll supply it all. Yes. Yes. According to his riches. Heaven reaching up. Heaven reaching up. According to his riches in glory. God will shout out nothing. And even when it comes to laborers. You know, people are getting their off now because you see what's happening now. AI is taking over. Yes. Everywhere you go, AI. My God, AI. AI is taking over. People's job, AI taking over. Somebody office is closed down because nobody working from home now. AI. What is going on? What you know with God? Yes. God has plenty, plenty yes, work for yes, us. Yes, yes. It says the harvest is plenty. Yes, God has no redundancy. God has no redundancy. No, nobody no redundancy. Yes, yes. Work. Yes. Work for everyone. Yes. It says the vineyard. Yes. You know, you see, because you want the lost version. And we have to realize the time we're in now. The time is still and the time is short. And we have to work while it is day. Yes. Jesus said I must work yes. while it is day because the, the night is coming. Yes. Listen, the night is coming Jesus. when no man works. Yes. Work will stop. Yes. You know the Bible says that there time will be no more. Yes. You know the Bible says time will be no more. Yes. Time is not forever. No. Time is for time. Yes. So time will be no more. Mm -hmm. So we're looking now unto the coming of the Lord. Brethren, we're looking to the coming of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If we see sometimes, won't it be a time when, when I get over yonder? I would see the song, won't it be a time when I get over yonder? Won't it, won't it be a time? When we get over yonder, won't it be a time? When we get over yonder, won't it be a time? When we get over yonder, won't it be a time? When we get over yonder, won't it be a time? You know what? There's no time away. There's no time. There's no time away. Time is here. Yes. But no time will be under. There is no time. Time will be no more. Brethren, we are to rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in God. Because the salvation, this, this joy that this joy that He gives, it's not a word. 
The world can't give us peace. The world can't give us joy. The world can't give us anything. There's nothing in the world. You know, I mean, Penina, Penina had everything. But Hannah never had everything. But Hannah wanted to have what Penina had. She thought it was, I, I, I want a chance for myself. I, I don't want him to look at me like I'm cursed yeah. and mocking me, you know. And I, I, I want the child for myself. She said, I will talk to God. Yeah. You said, I will reach out for my heart. Yeah. You, know, you know, when we reach out from God, you know, God listens to the heart, you know. Yes. And the heart, God deals with you. God deals with the mouth. No. Because sometimes we say things that are only from the mouth. It doesn't touch the heart. God knows if it's coming from the heart or yeah. coming from the mouth. God knows it's just in the mouth. You're not just in the mouth. God knows you know what you And so Anna said, I call upon God to the bitterness of my soul. Don't hear so. I call upon the Lord from down here so. And God heard. And God said, I will give her her petition. And in giving her the Position, I will get myself a prophet, a prophet that will please me. He didn't say I would, she said, I will give him unto you all the days of his life, and no ways it shall come upon his head. You see, those days, man had long hair, he was a blessing. No, it's not so. The people have long hair. It's not so, no. You see, everything changed up now since Jesus come, you know. You know, because the Bible says it's a shame, so my nature tells us that it's not a shame for my job down here. So I don't have to lot. <laughs> I don't have nothing like that, praise the Lord. Uh, but, but it was in those days that no way that should come up on a man again. Yeah. You see, God changed things. You have different dispensations, you have different things. But God said the law and the prophet was until John. The law and the prophet was until John. When John came, he fulfilled the law. Jesus came to give us grace. Amen. We are in a time of grace. Amen. And the blood of Jesus is shed for all. Amen. Every man. We are not. It doesn't matter what you are. If you are a man. Jesus said, no man that cometh unto me, I will in no wise Man, no man that cometh unto me, I will no wise. What does that mean? That means that God loves everybody. Amen. Does that, that mean God loves everybody? Yes. It doesn't matter what, as long as you're a man. Yes. God loves you. Yes. He, his blood was shed for every man. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because the blood that was shed on Jewish altar could not wash away the sin or the stain. It, it could not. Every year they had to go up into the, and kill the ox or the, uh, the sheep or whatever and half of them on sacrifice to God. Every year they have to do it. But now the blood of Jesus covers the sins of the world. Jesus died for the sins of the world. He came to fail to do. Obey. Obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And Jesus came. He was a, the Bible says he was obedient right unto the death of the cross. Amen. It showed us how we should be, how we can be. Yes. Amen. Because if he was at any time disobedient, he, we could not be saved. He had to be obedient unto the cross. Amen. Even the devil tempted him when he came out of the wilderness. Amen. You see, what the devil do to people know him. That's what the devil does to people know him. Showing them the beauties of life, the wealth and the riches, and said, This is yours if you would worship me. So if, if Jesus had fought for that, what would, what would we be? What would it be if Jesus had fallen for that? The devil mm -hmm. tell him to fall on and wash me and have to be all in. And the devil never had anything. You don't own anything. But the devil has nothing to give nobody. Nothing to give nobody. 
He has nothing to give. Nothing. So Jesus says, Thou shalt worship the Lord and Him alone. Shall not worship. But you God want what we want. Let us continue to pray whatever it is. Let us pray. When we pray, let us remember that God wants us what we want. Amen. If we if God gives us what we want, then God will get something out of us. Yes. He got something out of Hannah. He got a prophet. Yeah. And I got a man child. Yeah. God got a prophet. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Everybody happy? Everybody? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So, yeah. my brethren, let us continue trusting in the good Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. God is good. God yeah. is good. Yeah. God is good. Yeah. And God loves us so much. We don't understand the love of God. The love of God is beyond nature. We don't understand how deep is the love of God. And when we say, come into my heart, we say, come into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Jesus. God wants to come. God wants to come in. Anybody who don't have sin yet, God wants to come in. He wants to come in. If you come in, he wants to come in. Why? He said his word. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. So God is knocking on the heart of every man. God is knocking on the heart of every man. And the Father said, Come, Lord Jesus, come. He said, If any man open the door, I will come in and I will stop with him. Any man open the door. So that is the love of God. The love of God beyond Understanding the peace of God. We need peace. We have to have Jesus to have peace. There's no peace outside of Jesus. There's no joy outside of Jesus. There's no contentment outside of Jesus. God wants us to have peace. God wants us to have contentment. God wants us to have health, strength. God wants us to have all things. Because our God is a good God. Praise the name. Yes. 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 Yes.